Hi, I'm Marcella Moss. I work at the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center. In our lab, we're working on making T cells recognize and kill brain tumors. Brain tumors in particular have a very, very poor prognosis, especially the most aggressive form, uh, which is also the most common form, and it's called glioblastoma multiforme. This is a disease that uh, we're still using a lot of surgery and radiation therapy to treat, but there haven't really been any other forms of treatment that can really prolong life and have a meaningful impact on patient outcomes. So immunotherapy has been used in multiple different kinds of cancer, and in, in some places it's really well established, um, but in others it's really undergoing kind of a renaissance where we're just starting to see that immunotherapy is becoming part of the standard care of certain kinds of cancer. Now there's a couple of different forms of immunotherapy, it's not just one. Um, so we have vaccines, we have antibodies, we even have small molecule drugs, and what I'm talking about doing is something that's much more complex than a small molecule drug. Um, we're talking about actually the cell itself. So we're getting past all of the natural barriers that the immune system has and engineering the active, active cell, which is in most cases the T cell. T cells are part of the immune system that protect us from viruses and infections. We are engineering the T cells so that we redirect them to recognize cancer cells. So we don't know that T cells can work in brain tumors yet, although there was one case where it looks like maybe they can. Um, in other kinds of cancers, we can see that T cells are incredibly powerful, particularly in leukemias and multiple myeloma, and those are blood cancers. And half my lab works on the blood cancers, and the other half really focuses on the brain tumors. And I'm so grateful that organizations like Stand Up to Cancer take that risk on people like me. Uh, who you know, have new ideas and have high hopes and ambition and goals so that we can explore these new kinds of treatments. It's a tremendously exciting time to be in cancer research right now. Even though cancer is a devastating disease, it's really such an opportunity to be able to aim our focus and our scientific uh, research to trying to treat and cure cancer. That's our goal. It's a very ambitious goal, but we're tremendously excited to do it.